coming to university, it's such a new world almost and there's so much to experience and so having um, somewhere like the chaplaincy where you can come and you can have that sense of growth but also stability. When we go off to university and um, there are many different things that we can get involved in and lots of them are great and life-giving, some of them perhaps not so much and what we offer here is a principle of continuity in your life that you can carry on with your faith uh, when you leave home or when you leave school and you can do it in a very sort of caring and friendly uh, environment. Obviously I grew up Catholic in Malaysia and when I came to Scotland I was thinking that I wanted to um, get to know more young Catholic people and also maybe a few priests and so I dropped by here to see what it would be like and it was a very welcoming community so. One of the students showed me around and I decided that I really wanted to be part of the, the community here and so that was uh, that's why I picked Glasgow University was because there's this uh, chaplaincy set up here. It's an international community uh, but we're all united by something more beyond our own like national that kind of like transcends it and that's the faith as well. So it kind of helps us uh, like bridge over our differences and, and, and basically make, make really good friends. So I'd say about 50% of our students are from Scotland, so they are very familiar with the local church um, and are able to welcome international students into the chaplaincy. And I'd say about 50% of our students are, are from abroad and they bring different aspects or particular aspects of their faith into the chaplaincy as well. So it's quite a, a mutually enriching experience. One of my friends from my, my course, who's not a Catholic here, um, that's the first thing that she, she pointed out. She noticed that there's, there's actually people um, from all walks of life, um, from various cultures all over the world, and, that's, and they come here um, and they're united in their Catholic faith. And that's actually something that is um, extremely beautiful just about our own Catholic faith. It's, you know, it's, it's uh, universal. We're very lucky to have Mass every day at uh, five past one, so it fits into your lecture schedule as well. You can come straight from class. And just having even the space to study or to socialise is something that's really important because there'll be a lot of times in your timetable that you just have like gaps in time. And so having somewhere that you can come to, I think is really important because like, I think university can almost be slightly isolating something. Of course this is also a place just to come and relax and be around other students. Um, we have a cafe open each day, we have breakfast on a Sunday, we have a dinner on a Sunday evening, movie nights, things like that as well. You come in here um, in between your classes or in the, in the morning or the evening, there's, there's always people around sitting about on the sofas and drinking cups of tea and um, on the computer doing work, various things like that. So I mean socialising just in the, that, that kind of level of just every day talking to people, um, people who have maybe got something interesting they've found, in their, you know, found out in their classes or some conversations that are going on in the media and they'll kind of bring that up and it's just nice, you know, just general socialising like, like young people do. Um, so that, that certainly that exists in the chaplaincy every day. Um, and we also have various social events uh, throughout the year, a Burns Supper, uh, an end of town ball, Christmas dinner, uh, things like that, so big sort of formal events too. This knife, see rustic neighbour Dick, why cut you up with ready slick, trenching your gushing entrails brick. Like uh, the chaplaincy does an amazing job in organising social events all year long. And they, they all have um, such a great vibe to them, you know, and, and the social committee and the rest of the board really get up to organising these events and just making it comfortable for everyone. I do love a good Kaylee, <laughs> so I do have quite a few of them. It's one of our uh, big welcoming events as well because I think for people coming to Scotland for the first time to see that kind of rich tradition of like the Kaylee dancing and you know it gets everyone involved, their set moves so you don't have to worry about what you look like you know and I think people really do enjoy it. <laughs> But it's one of these places that's open all day, so you, you'll find there's always students around loitering about um, and drinking copious amounts of tea and so on and so forth. As a young Scottish Catholic, like the sense of having a Catholic community isn't really one that we've got. You know, like you wouldn't get many communities of young Catholics in Scotland like this, and so this is why it's such a, a diamond when you do find one, and you don't want to you don't want to be away from it for too long. Or so. 
that's, that's why I'm here all the time. Um, we also try to do a retreat every year um, and we also uh, run a pilgrimage every year. So we're just back actually from Italy where we did a pilgrimage, pilgrimage following the lives of the Italian saints. Uh, so we went to Assisi, Siena, Norcia to see St Francis, St Benedict, St Catherine and then on to Rome. And next year our pilgrimage will be to do the Camino uh, de Santiago, the way of St James. So every year we have uh, various trips, um, some of them abroad, some of them within the UK. Um, so every year we go on a silent retreat just after Easter um, to Pusker and Abbey uh, and we spend five days there. Um, and there's usually a large group of students come along um, and it's a, a led retreat but it's in silence so it's a, a great opportunity to, um, for the students to come together and, and pray together at that uh, really special place. Two big events each week, which is the Catholic Society Group and then the Glasgow Faith Forum, which is sort of a separate thing. And these are the two main catechetical events. Every week we have Cast Talk and we discuss maybe the failures of the church or um, other topics such as that. And having that intellectual formation, it's like you almost grow up a wee bit in your faith. Like it's no longer a cultural thing. It's no longer the faith that your family has or your parents have. You know, you really claim it as your own. One week we were giving a talk, the next week it's a, it's a forum, a discussion, so uh, for example our last talk was on the Cappadocian Fathers and the forum, the discussion after that was on the virtue of chastity and how important it is, you know, as young Catholics that we try and live out these virtues. There are a number of different groups that you can join which will help you to develop your faith. So we have, for example, a Catholic Society for undergraduate students which meets to to um, look at different aspects of the faith. Um, for example, this coming semester we'll be looking at the Ten Commandments. Um, we also have a Legion of Mary, which does work of evangelization on campus. We have a St. Vincent de Paul Society. Uh, we also have a boys prayer group and a girls prayer group and a cell of, of the Knights of St. Columba. So there's something to cater for every taste and interest in that sense in the church. And pretty much every event at the Chaplaincy finishes in the pub, so everyone heads down to, to Bank Street to socialise for a bit, which is our local pub just down the road from the Chaplaincy. So this gives you the opportunity to speak, get to know like the other, the other students here. I think it's actually such a like, unique experience to have a university chaplain. We're actually very lucky in that way because even for me growing up, I was close to my parish priest, but it's a very different relationship with someone that you see every day and that you can get to know in a different way and for us especially we're very lucky Father Ross is very um, informed and he's very good at making sure that everyone is included, everyone is welcome. Well Father Ross has lots of other errands and lots of other commitments he, he has to do. Um, it's, it's great to be able to come in some days and find them um, you know, in the, on the couch talking to the students and, and just being around generally his office is just um, around the corner so you can always pop in and say hi and if you've got anything to talk to them about and um, that's there and so that, that, that helps and I think you see that um, all the students um, and I mean there's lots of them here um, have, have a good relationship with him because he is around and he's, um, he's available to talk to. He, he's an amazing priest, amazing priest. Um, very welcoming, always um, he can be very serious but also, and also like crack some jokes with students so I, I really think he's a, he's a very valuable addition. Yeah. He was a student here and so he really sort of knows where we're coming from. He's sort of been through it all himself. He's, you know, still quite young. I myself was a student at the University of Glasgow and really I got involved in the chaplaincy in my second year um, and in my final year I ended up living here and it was really a place that helped me um, mature and grow in my faith and it was a place also where I discovered my vocation um, and I think that's true of a lot of people that come in here, whether it be to the priesthood or to the religious life and indeed lots of people end up meeting here and getting married. We always have a couple of big chaplaincy weddings every year and um, so it's really a great place in that sense as well. It's a place where you can come and you discover God's will for you and you know I think if you get involved in the chaplaincy you, you have your faith with you for, for the rest of, of your days which is a great thing. Definitely come to the chaplaincy because it is such a blessing that we have it here and it is something that we can be confident in because 
ultimately the gift of faith is a gift and I think sometimes the people around you, the world around you, try and make you lose sight of that and it is such an important thing to be proud of because it is who we are, it's what makes us who we are and having a place where we can come, we can express that and we can grow in that is something that is ultimately really life changing. Come and see, that would be, you know, the invitation that, uh, that Nathaniel got, you know, come and see and I suppose that's, you know, our Lord's here but also, you know, there's a, a great community and stuff like that and it's not something you would regret, definitely not. Do not be afraid, come here, you will find everything you need um, from good friends uh, that can really help you in like tough times, especially when you arrive at the university, to um, an extraordinary community, uh, very like strong, it can really help you like strengthen your faith as well. So I would say this is, if, if you should check in, into one place when arriving to Glasgow, check in the chaplaincy first. It's what makes it, makes my time here so valuable and precious because it's, it's just brought so much life um, to my entire experience here. You know, it's a place I think really with Christ at the centre and the Mass at the centre of all we do. Um, so I think if you were to ask me what the chaplaincy is about, what its mission is about, it's to help people deepen their faith and we do that through catechetical, spiritual and social events. People leave and they graduate, they, they move on in life and then they always come back and say, you know, the friends I met at the, univers at the university at the chaplaincy are my best friends for life, you know, because when you have a friendship that's really rooted in Christ, then it, it, it lasts. <laughs>